Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help Lazy Gamer figure out a problem he's having some uh, issues with. So he says, I have items, specifically skill books and a data pad, that only specific characters should be able to use, but I can't seem to find a way to doing it, at least with my non-existent knowledge of scripting or anything. A skill that ideally makes the users do X amount more damage for X rounds, a buff of sorts. I thought I had something after watching one of your videos on states, but in the end it didn't help me much. I learned a lot, but not exactly what I was after. Any ideas would be appreciated. So Lazy Gamer, this isn't too complicated, and I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do. So the first thing that I would like you to do is go to your database and create the data pad or the item. You probably already have it made, but um, if you haven't, then you're going to make it a consumable item. Occasion will be always. The scope will be all allies, even though it's only going to work on one of your party members. So in the description, let the player know that only this character can use it. So in this case, I've made an herbalist manual, a useful manual filled with inspiring recipes for Lydia, and only Lydia can use it. So in that, we're going to call a common event, but before you know which one to call, we're going to hit apply and we're going to go to our common events. So in a free slot, create the common event for it. It doesn't really matter what you named it. I've named it Lydia's manual. And it's, we're just going to insert a, a simple conditional branch. So we're going to right click insert new conditional branch. And you're going to go over to the second tab and you're going to select actor. And you're going to select the actor that you want this uh, to work with. Then you're going to just keep it so that it says in the party. And then you're going to select the create an else branch a box and hit OK. Now that you've got this, inside the else handler, we're going to show some text that says only this person can use it. And then we're going to do a change items because using uh, using the item calling this common event consumed it. So if the player doesn't have that person in the party and they didn't get any buff, you really don't want them to waste it because that'll just frustrate your players. So what you need to do is do a change items on the else handler, handler and add that item back. So like I've done here, herbalist manual increased by one. So it's giving that back. And I'm also letting the player know that, hey, only this character can use it. Inside the condition, if it's if it's been met, um, you probably have a bunch of states already created. If you haven't, create a new state. I've made one called uh, double regeneration or or double effect. Let me find it for you. Double recovery. And in this, all I've done is added a special parameter that doubles the recovery effect. Since in my game, Lydia has a drain ability and it does damage and heals for a little bit. But if this is a if the recovery effect is in play, then she'll she'll get a lot of that HP back and double the the gain. So it's a good buff. On top of that, you can either do it this way or you can add a script call to add a buff. So what um, you can do here is right click. We'll just move up to this one. <clears throat> just right click and go to tab three. And on tab three, I want you to go over to the bottom and click on script, and a box is going to pop up. And in this box, what we're going to type is VAR space, the name of the character. It doesn't even have to be. You could just make this an X if you want. But just for clarity, we'll type the name of, of the character. We're going to say equals space dollar sign game capital A on actors dot actor. And then open and close parentheses, but don't put any number yet. And then we're going to do an end line. And then we're going to type whatever we put for this variable right here. In this case, I put Lydia. But if I would have typed X and went like this, X, it's going to work exactly the same. And then type dot, add, capital B on buff, and then open parentheses, type in the number of the buff you want, and it works like this. Zero is max HP, one is max MP, two is attack power, three is defense, four is magic defense, no, magic attack power, sorry. 5 is magic defense, 6 is agility, and 7 is luck. And they're, the 8s go into special parameters, so you can even go farther than that. But we'll start you off with these. So take a note of these, and there's several places on the RPG Maker webs where you can get this list of stuff. Type that number first, put a comma, and then type the number of rounds you want that buff to last. And then close the parentheses and do an end line. We have to take this out or it'll crash. But now that we've got a blank space in here, we don't know what we're going to put in here. We have to figure out what actor this is for. So we know that we want this buff to go to Lydia. So I'll just change this name. And it doesn't. this name isn't affecting anything. This is just for clarity. 
but we should apply this go over to actors find the actor that you want it to be so in this case I want it to be Lydia so I'm gonna look at her ID number and her ID number is 3 so we're gonna use that 3 in the parentheses so back to our common events open up our script call inside this blank space type in 3 for what or whatever it is for you and then that's all you have to do um, so when you use the item it will consume it it'll call on this common event but we have to make sure it's gonna do that so let's go back to our item over here on effects we're gonna double click a free uh, empty space go over to other and at the bottom common event select that common event that we just created in this case it was Lydia's manual and then make sure that it's calling that common event that's why it doesn't matter that we set the scope to all allies because when we use it if Lydia is not in the party then it will just say only Lydia can use this and it'll give the item back but if she is in the party it's gonna not give the item back it's gonna consume it but it's gonna add a buff of double recovery to Lydia for for however long you put it in the states and it's going to uh, add a buff to this actor in this case we're saying actor 3 uh, of magic attack power for 20 rounds so once we've got that set up let's award our items I put them in a chest and I've made an event that'll have Lydia join us so we can see it before and after let's save our game let's uh test it out so first of all we're gonna try to use the manual you can see our party right now all we have is Tiana and this isn't Tiana's manual this is a, ma a manual that's uh, inspiring for Lydia so if we try to use it it lets us use it but only Lydia can actually use this so what happens is nothing and it actually takes the item away but it gives it right back on the else handler so if we were to do this, nothing's going to happen, so it's not going to benefit the player to do this at all. But what's going to happen if we say, uh, Lydia, can you join us? Okay, I'll join you. Now we see that Lydia is in the party. We're going to use that herbalist manual. And you could even do a show text right here or animation and whatever you want. It's up to your imagination. I'm sure you can be more creative than I can. But if we look at this, the states on Lydia now, she's got the double recovery state and she's also got 20 round buff of magic attack power so that's how you'd go about creating uh, uh, a character specific buff a skill book data pad whatever you want to theme it that's how you do it hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial lazy gamer and if it was informative or you found it helpful please like favorite share and subscribe all that good stuff it really I really appreciate it and it helps the channel you guys are very important to me and that's why I do this for you guys so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.